Alrighty, so I just did a video that came out yesterday on the demon team with Red Skinny King in the back, and uh, I think that you could definitely just use Tarmiel, like the blue Tarmiel, if you have his relic to help out the Sariel here, but I wanted to see if it will have the same impact and make the team harder to kill, of course, and maybe the lower damage will help Sariel stay alive longer, so that way you can taunt and, you know, do fun stuff like that. Um, so just kind of interested to see how it goes. We have good CC because, of course, all of these characters are pretty much HD or HP defense or HP crit damage. Um, and uh, let's just hop right into this thing. Alrighty, we have another angel team. Okay, I do out CC, so that is definitely good. Um, uh, no Tarmiel link on his. I made sure to put Tarmiel link on mine. I really complained about it, and I know that, but. Um, Honestly, like the Tarmiel link is just so good on Liz. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's do uh, two of these and then try to get some damage out on Sariel so that way we can hopefully kill him soon-ish. Uh, pretty decent damage there. Flood card brings him down to about half. Okay, not too bad. Um, and then he, I mean, he can attack, I guess, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. I can merge for Liz. That's really good. The only problem that I have with running the angel team is that none of my, I mean, Sariel is completely maxed out on ultimate level. Uh, but my Margaret has been one six for a really long time. I was just able to pull one copy of her on Estorosa's banner. So she is now two six. Um, and I had to go to the guaranteed on Liz. So now she is, uh, or she's still one six as well. So not great in that regard by any means means but um yeah and he has the ultimate as well so i think i'm probably screwed here uh but i'm also interested to see how much damage we take with um with king in the back so uh decent counter there but it also activated the heal um I guess let's see how this goes. I'm definitely interested because I'm assuming he probably has it 6-6. I maybe should have checked, but I'm not that worried about it really either way because uh, it's either it's either going to like absolutely kill me or it's not going to do nearly as much as I think it's going to because of King in the back maybe, which I'm not going to attribute at all to him. But okay, a little bit below half on everybody is not terrible. Um, still good damage off there, unfortunately. Um, everybody's pretty low, and I don't have a great way. This is like a huge, like, stalemate match, unfortunately. Uh, and the connection is pretty bad, too. Okay, I, he would have had that. I'm counting that as a loss. <laughs> Moving on. Alrighty, we have, ooh, like a Liz unknown team. Kind of, kind of weird. Not too sure about this one, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, I don't have like debuff immunity or anything, or like, uh, yeah, debuff immunity. So I think I'm gonna end up taking a freeze here on the taunt either way. And I'll probably end up having an attack seal, but I guess on the positive end, he doesn't have Gother on the team. So I can just cleanse it unless he has double freeze. So let's see. He does freeze. Kind of figured. Flood. And then he's going to unfreeze me. Kind of bizarre, got to be honest. Um, Let's just go for... I really want to use that, but I think I'm actually just going to move it. I'm going to move it, and then we're going to get ultimate. He's going to think I'm not going to have a cleanse in hand, um, unless he has double freeze, because then he can just freeze both of them. But uh, we'll see if we can just get the ultimate off, I think. Because, I mean, this ult does hit really hard at, at you know, at max level. And, of course, I have, I'll have i have a taunt in hand, so that's great. Please don't have double freeze here. Okay, he's just trying to kill me, I guess. Nice. Okay, so we can <laughs> we can cleanse it, and then 
we actually got good RNG here. Normally, I feel like I don't get that great of RNG when I use Sariel, so I end up not being able to get any of this stuff off. But uh, let's see how it goes. A Millie. Easy peasy. That was pretty good. Sariel MVP. I honestly do think that he does a lot for the team, so pretty cool. Alrighty. Okay, so now we have another unknown team, but I think he's going to run into the same issue where he doesn't have... Um, oh, never mind. It's a bot. Uh, I was going to say he's going to run into the same issue where he doesn't have the, uh, the Gother to seal my cards, but kind of unfortunate here. I guess let's see. I'm interested to see if Rimuru can get... Well, I would have to buff up. Um, to really see if he could get it off, but um, I was gonna say maybe he could get his pierce buff, and I can see how much we or how much he does to me because um, I am lowering his pierce by half, which is kind of what his whole shtick is. Like he, that's his whole thing. He's he's like, I got it to a pierce rate. So um, I think let's try to. Get rid of the Merlin. And I'm interested, actually. I think we're just going to go ahead and cleanse. We're going to try to... We're going to get rid of the Merlin. I think we can use... Mm, nah, we'll just go ahead and use the Flood card. It's fine. We'll use that and then use the, uh, the Taunt. Counter. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. She's starting to... <laughs> she's starting to really hit hard. I forget that when they when they attack into your Sariel too much, like it really builds her passive up. So he has the Pierce rate buff now. He has removed our damage dealt increase. So I'm interested. <laughs> All right, bot. That was epic of you. Okay. Normally, when he has the Pierce buff, that move does a lot of damage, and it definitely did not do a lot of damage. So that's great. Um, I think we, I really wanted to see a Pierce card, but I think we're just going to do this. If it kills him, oh well, we'll just move on and try to find like a real player, I guess. Uh, don't know if this is going to kill him or not, but he's going to draw his ult if it, if it doesn't kill. All right, this could be a problem. <laughs> All right, he's got the pierce buff. He's got the ult. Let's see. I can never tell if I'm going to die from this ult on the on the rebound. Okay, did a lot of damage, but we didn't die, so that's good. Um, we just need to get this over with, so. All right, moving on. All righty. This was a pretty quick load in as well, uh, but I think he's actually a real player because that's pretty high CC. Okay. Ah, damn. I really want to face a Meliodas because I really want to see what the Pierce card's going to do. All right. We have a demon team, so that's interesting. No, um, no melee, unfortunately. Uh, interesting team as well. I don't see... I normally always try to... Like, I would normally say that Assault Melee is always on the team, but, uh... I guess let's just put up the taunts and everything. Aw, oh, it's a bot too, come on. I guess, oh well. He had pretty high CC. He definitely has HP defense on his Sigurd, which I, I don't have on mine, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, We could rush for the ult on Elizabeth here. And these, uh, these uh, counters are going to do wonders for me, I think. He's really not doing a whole lot of damage, which is fantastic. Dude, he's doing so little damage. It's kind of ridiculous. All righty. Um, I guess let's... Let's merge these. I'm fairly confident that, that the, the AoE is going to kill Estorosa here. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but really hoping it does at this point. 
Boom. Yeah, okay. Very nice. That is pretty much game there, unfortunately. Uh, I really wanted to see, I really wanted to see a Meliodas. I kind of wish that I would have been able to see the uh, the Pierce on the Rimuru as well, because obviously that's what, you know, lowering Pierce rate is good for, but kind of unfortunate. He has literally like no way he can win here at this point. So I guess we're just going to call it. Um, Definitely an interesting experience or experiment. Um, I think that King is actually pretty good in the back line. Just helps with survival overall. They just do a lot less damage because Pierce Raid is kind of an important stat. Um, and just overall kind of kind of just like a fun character to have in the back. He's almost got 65k CC, so he's really like he's he's better than a lot of backliners, I've gotta say. Um so, I don't know. There's not too much to complain about on his end. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.